Hey everybody, Canadian Gamer comes to you guys with another Pokemon Sun and Moon build video. I know you guys have been wanting to see these for a long time. I don't post them as much as I should, so every day we'll have our two daily uploads of each game that I'm playing. So we'll have the, the Pokemon Donkey Kong upload, then the next Donkey Kong Pokemon upload, you know, at nine or at ten and two, and then finally at five we will have our two pokemon builds until the pokemon builds are all done and then we move on to something new such as pokemon battles but today we'll be talking about the pokemon guzzlord he is a, dra a dragon dark type so he's like a hydragon but extremely bulky in hp like, he's not the biggest in defense you know so that's why we're building the way we are now this Pokemon is crazy in a trick room. Now remind you that this is a trick room set. This Pokemon does not set up trick room, but it is the trick room Pokemon for doubles, mainly doubles. Um, singles works too. Uh, I just find trick room doubles to be better, especially like with Oranguru being the trick room setup. But our moves contain Gyro Ball. Hammer Arm, Dragon Claw, and Crunch. We are running Brave Nature, so it's plus attack, minus speed, because we want to make the best use of Gyro Ball, because of our base speed being, I believe, 43. I believe our base speed is only 43. So Gyro Ball will hit hard when we're slow. Hammer Arm is, you know, hit Pokemon Super Effective Events, so Rock, Steel types, um, Normal types, you name it. Dragon Claw is our Stab Dragon type move, the best physical Dragon move that we get, which is kind of sad, that Dragon Claws are best Dragon Attack, but not much we can do there. And Crunch being our best Dark type attack. Once again, kind of sad that we don't have better moves, but those are our stat moves. We have Beast Boost, which will probably increase. Our, I think it increases offensive stats, so attack, special attack, and speed are the ones that get buffed. So our attack would go up. And we have leftover sustain for sustainability. Our build here is 252 in attack, 252 in defense. And four in special defense, you know, just to be bulky. This is going to be our physical wall. This thing is going to eat up those physical attacks. Use leftovers to be buffed up. And, I don't know, can we check out what the shiny version of this guy looks like? That is the most badass shiny ever. Probably one of the best shinies of this generation. Not very many of them that are good. Maybe Salazzle. But, overall, this Pokemon will hit like a truck. But being slow... Fairy types really hurt this guy. Now, Hydreigon didn't really have that much of an issue with fairy types, even though it was quad, you know, weak. Kind of like how Como O is quad weak to fairy. But this guy, since he's slow, and there are a lot of fast, powerful fairies out there, including things like um, Gardevoir. I don't believe Gardevoir is in Gen 7 as of right now, but January when Pokemon Band comes out, you'll have to worry about that. And Guzzlord will probably go down a tier or two, but... Right now, Trick Room set, run that max attack, run that max H, uh, defense. You could even run max special defense, doesn't really matter depending on how you're doing it. But you do not need to run max HP because it's already so fat. And with Trick Room up, you can now get the priority Hammer Arm, Dragon Claw, and Crunch because guess what? You'll speed everything because you're so freaking slow. And Gyro Ball is good if Trick Room is not up because then you're so slow. I believe it also still works if you go first on Trick Room. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I do believe you get to go first. So anyways, if you guys liked this video, please leave that big thumbs up. Remember to comment and subscribe to the channel for more videos. I do Let's Plays, I do builds, I do tutorials, I do everything. You guys name it, you guys want it, comment in the comment section below. Remember, stay awesome. This is Canadian Gamer. Peace out.